I thought I'd introduce you to my stick insects. These are the Diaphora gigantea, giant green bean stick insect. Um, this is the female, this is the male, much smaller and slimmer as you can see. Um, they've been matured out now for a couple of months, I suppose, maybe a bit longer for the female. Um, and she's been laying eggs like crazy. I mean, they have literally been dropping eggs everywhere. Uh, they have been paired up as well, so hopefully that means that um, the eggs are going to be male or female. Although I believe this species isn't parthenogenic, so you do need male and females to actually produce fertile eggs. But yeah, they're doing really well. Um, really easy to keep on eucalyptus. And you can see the male is so much smaller than the um, the female. And she's, uh, she's quite heavy actually when you pick her up. But um, yeah, they, uh, they've grown quite quickly. And I was a bit worried about them when I got them. I think one of my early videos, I got seven off of eBay as tiny nymphs. And I lost, I was down to three. Um, and then one of the... One of the other ones was a, a male, which um, died quite early on, actually. But it, these two are doing really well and laying eggs. I did buy some um, more eggs, and they've just hatched as well, actually. So I've got um, four or five nymphs now. These are literally only a couple of days old, about one centi long, absolutely tiny. But uh, yeah, the next generation. These are my extratosoma tiaratums. The giant prickly Australian stick insects, and uh, they've just both matured out. The male just matured out a couple of days ago, and he's got his wings now. He's the long, slender brown one, and the female obviously is the pale green. Uh, it might look like they're courting or mating ritual or something, but actually, they're both trying to climb higher um, to get off my hand, so they're using each other as twigs. So uh, they're not actually mating, but they live together. So hopefully they will mate, because if you have a pair, they uh, produce male and female eggs. But if you only have females, they can lay eggs um, by themselves, but they, uh, they're all female. So having a pair, you get both the sexes. And the male is actually quite spectacular, actually. I was quite impressed when he, um, when he matured out. He looks, uh, looks pretty cool, actually. So this is uh, the male on my hand, uh, just to get a sort of picture of how big he is. Um, he's absolutely stunning, really. And here's the female's head. Looks like some kind of weird alien. <laughs> kind of freaked me out. But they're really, really good fun. And I raised these from eggs. I bought these, um, like, for 99p off of eBay. They took forever to hatch, but when they did, and they've taken about a year to mature out. So um, I'm just a bit sad, actually, that the males matured out, because um, I guess, like most insects, once they've matured, they don't actually live for a great long time afterwards. But um, hopefully I'll get another generation of these. I've already got, as I said, the diaphoroids have already got babies um of hatch which is amazing and um I'd, I've you know I've got um I have got eggs from these guys so from the female already um but hopefully I'll start collecting the eggs now that the male's around and like I say we'll we'll get um both sexes again in the future but not for months and months and months so yeah pretty pretty impressed with these really easy to keep on eucalyptus I keep them all together just in a, a netting cage. Um, they're totally harmless. They don't harm each other. Uh, these like it really dry. The diaphoreds, um, they like to drink, especially the mature female. Um, I spray her. Um, she, she sits on the top of the, the net cage. So I know she's thirsty and I spray the top of the net cage till it's quite wet. And she drinks through the mesh. Um, and she's always really grateful for a drink. But these guys tend to like it a little bit drier so um i just kind of when i i wash the eucalyptus leaves and i put them in the cage and leave them a little bit wet and that that would actually do these guys they don't need a lot of moisture but yeah they're doing really cool pretty pleased so this guy is just a couple of months old and he's He's actually from the same set of eggs that the, the TRR pair came from. He just hatched 
months later. So um, he's just uh, he's doing really well. So yeah, come back and watch him grow up. <laughs>